Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today we're just heading out to do some cleanups. It's really cold this morning. I think it's like minus five. The ground is pretty frosty. Um, but where the sun is right now, it's uh, starting to thaw out. So we're hoping that when I get to the first place, it's all thawed out. So today, I'm just gonna show you what we're running with. Uh, I've gotta take the tarps off. It was raining all day yesterday again. So um, I had to put the cover on the stuff so it wouldn't get all wet. I'm very bad at covering my stuff up, so I'm just looking at buying some covers for them. Um, I think I might just get some of those four builder covers that I could just throw over top. I think those will work. So we've got the, uh, oh, hold on a second. You can see the wind coming off the right. right. So we've got the Ferris floor we're, we're gonna take. We've got the uh, 20 horsepower walker with the uh, dethatcher on it. As well, we're gonna take the uh, the two PB8010 blowers. I've got the small little hand blower in there because I think I have to do a roof. I've got the fertilizer and bags of fertilizer. And that's what we're gonna do today. So hopefully it warms up. It says it's supposed to go up to like plus nine. So hopefully it does because it's really cold. Okay guys, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I know there's a lot of guys watching the channel that aren't subscribed. Please subscribe, try to hit that thousand uh, subscriber mark and like the video. Okay, we'll see you when we get there. All right guys, so here we are at one of our small properties doing the cleanup. I was going to dethatch it and blow it. And I just noticed all this dirt here, the snow plows, so we're going to try to have this even blow back on. Um, this happens all the time, but with this big blower, I'm hoping it works pretty good with this. So it's not a big lot. This is the lot where uh, I always complain about the renters never moving inside or helping get stuff off the lot when they were here. So. Yeah, so we're here doing this a lot. It shouldn't take us too long. We do fall clean up here. Spring clean up shouldn't take us very long. Just gotta move this thing here. Take a more through. And then, just this lakeside. It's pretty breezy over here today, so. Just that part. Well, all right guys, so I'm gonna film this one. We'll see how it goes.
All right, so you see that line didn't take too long to do this back section. It's all nice and clean now. Now with that blower, I find it very off balanced. Um, I'm not used to stand on more than used to the walker more, but that thing for me feels very off balanced and it's very hard to get used to, um, especially on like this little part here. It uh, felt like it was gonna fall off and the whole thing, I think I was gonna tip over. So I just gotta get used to that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to modify it, maybe put some weights on or something. I saw Randy from Countryside uh, order some uh, weights for his uh, one more he's got. And hopefully he's thinking that's gonna help with the weight issue. So maybe I should try that with this one as well. Okay, back at it.
All right, guys, so we're done for the day. Um, we had an incident with the walker mower. It started to catch on fire like crazy. Um, I didn't film it. I was uh, trying to get the lawns done. I filmed one lawn today. But anyways, the walker caught on fire. What we're doing, we had the back open here uh, so the leaves could uh, fly out the back so I could mulch them up and make them smaller and be uh, less stuff to blow in the bush. And then I just looked over and uh, there's just completely on fire. So I ran over the blower and I uh, blown the the uh, fire trying to you know get it out. I know that's not what you're supposed to do, but I told my guy to go get some water. By the time he got back, I had the fire out. Uh, but when I opened it up, uh, two belts were torn. So now I have to change two belts on the walker mower. So pretty sure I have them. Actually, let's go to the shed. Um, I've got three belts on hand right now. So I'm pretty sure I got the two belts I need for it, which is good. Um, if I don't, then I still could have the other walker mower to take it if we need it. Um, but I don't think we're going out tomorrow. It's supposed to be cold again and like snowing out. So uh, we won't be able to do that. But we did get four lawns done today. So here's two, uh, there's two belts here. Uh, oops, two belts. I need the PTO belt. I'm pretty sure I have the PTO belt somewhere. Not sure where, where it is though. I think it's inside actually. Yeah, I think the PTO belt's inside. I took these out because my son kept on playing with them, so. Okay, so I don't think I have a PTO belt, but I do have the other one, so maybe I'll change the one right now. Then I'm gonna have to run over to the store and go grab a couple PTO belts. So it looks like we have to take the other mower uh, next time we go out, which I don't mind because it's the big mower, 25 meters high. All right, so I'm gonna unload this stuff quickly and then we can uh, put the belt on.